Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Tuesday, the 25th of September, 2018. Now, if it seems kind of strange where I am right here, it's because I am parked in a car outside of the Headland Municipal Airport, which seems kind of appropriate for today's message, because I know you haven't seen me for a couple of days, and you've been wondering, where the heck is Jeannie Sigler? Well, here I am at the airport, and it is appropriate, because today's uh, take two segment is entitled planes, trains, and automobiles. And if I have to add a little postscript, dot, 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 and one weary traveler. Well, I've spent the last uh, long extended weekend traveling by plane, train, and automobile. It was uh, quite a long extended weekend. I went up to Pennsylvania, spent time with family, which was a bonus because I got to spend time with my two um fantastic little nephews, Jimmy and Thomas, who kept us entertained uh, the whole entire time. Again, it was just another one of those things we had to do regarding my mom's passing and her estate and her belongings and having a big yard sale and just several things that needed to be done. But I do want to say this, boys and girls, despite my weariness, despite everything, uh, God sustained me, kept me going, and kept me moving, and I'm just so grateful. Not only that, but I'm just so grateful for the love of the family. And I have to say this, if you are facing a situation like I am, where uh, you have the, the passing of a loved one, and it ends up being a whole lot more work than you even had ever anticipated, don't fight with anybody. Don't have difficulties. Don't have challenges. You know, it's really quite funny because my sister and I, there were so many knickknacks and tchotchkes and things that my mother collected over the years, being a sentimentalist as she was. And she had so much stuff, which I'm going to address in another take two at a later time. But just to say this, I do, I, I am so appreciative that my sister and I even joked about, I want this, I want this, because it was just a bunch of tchotchkes and stuff that she had collected, my mother, over the years, and it was just stuff. And we didn't fight at all. We jokingly fought. You know, I want this, I want that. But the truth is, don't make your situation more uncomfortable by having difficulties with fights in, you know, in-house. You know what I mean? Just, uh, if you could keep it as peaceful as possible and be as a, in agreement as possible as my family is about all of it, do that. And that will be a blessing. So I'm going to leave you with this. Go be a blessing to somebody today. You might end up being the only one who is. Uh, pepper everything you do with love and understanding and peace, okay? Because that is very, very important. I am so grateful to my sister and my brother-in-law and my niece and even those little precious little baby boys, my cousins, all the people who have helped us through this extremely challenging season that we're going through. So I'm going to ask for continued prayers, okay? Continue to pray for us, boys and girls. Continue to love on us as we go through this challenging season in our lives. And I'm just so grateful that I was able to, yesterday alone, travel on two trains, two planes, and two automobile rides. And the last one, I had to fly into Montgomery instead of Dothan because there were no seats. So that meant another 100-mile drive home. Thank goodness for my good friend, Big Tom, who came and got me and drove me home in the pouring rain. And I'm just so grateful for good friends and good family. They're so valuable. They're more valuable than gold or silver, and especially in a time like this. So I know I got a little sentimental here, but I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been standing by us through this challenging season. Okay, now please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Click that subscribe button and make sure you tune into some great relaxing music on WRMZ.org and click that listen button. Okay, I love you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow for hump day. And I think things will be a little bit more back to normal by then. Love you all so much. Okay, why am I at the airport. Today there is a uh, groundbreaking for a new runway at our little local municipal airport. So I decided it was good for Ram Radio come and be represented here at this very important community event. So that's why I'm here in case you're wondering. I'm not going anywhere except today home. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.